Hi, my name is Lynn Yates of the Ajax Library. Welcome to Bedtime Storytime Shorts. Beginning July 6, Bedtime Storytime went live at 6.30 p.m., followed by this program, a Bedtime Short, featuring finger plays, rhymes, and activities, and closing with a digital book from our Tumble Book collection. The short video will always be available for viewing afterwards. Let's begin today with our opening rhyme. Get our hands up and wiggle them, stretch them nice and big. And then open and shut them, open and shut them. Give them a clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Fold them in your lap. Tonight we're talking about friends, friendship, and all of our rhymes. And our story at the end is about friends as well. Let's start with five little friends. One little friend with nothing to do. Along came another, and then there were two, one, two. Two little friends laughing with me. Along came another, and then there were, can you count them? One, two, three. Three little friends looking for some more. Along came another, and then there were, that's right, four. One, two, three, four. Four little friends dancing a jive. Along came another, and then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little friends. Imagine how much fun five friends could have together. I have a song I'd like us to sing together as well. It's a song that we know. It's called, If You're Happy and You Know It. But we're going to change that to, If You're Friendly and you know it. If you're friendly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're friendly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're friendly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're friendly and you know it, clap your hands. Let's stomp our feet too. If you're friendly and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're friendly and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're friendly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're friendly and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're friendly and you know it, say hurrah, hurrah. If you're friendly and you know it, say hurrah, hurrah. If you're friendly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're friendly and you know it, shout hurrah, hurrah. That was a fun song. Let's get going with a little rhyme I have with some friends. I have to get them ready. So just give me a moment. Can you guess how many friends? I might be using in my next little rhyme? Would it be one? Could it be two? Could it be three? Or maybe four? Let's find out. It's four. Let's see how many we start the rhyme with. The rhyme's called Friends. And it's, um, it's in our PDF that's attached to the, the description of this video. And on our June 30th um, calendar page. Here we go. Two little friends are better than one. Three are better than two. Four are much better still. Just think of what four friends can do. One, two, three, four. Now you could do this rhyme, even if you didn't have puppets on your fingers. Just use your fingers and your imagination, right? Let's do that one again. And you get your fingers up with me, all right? What did we start with? Do you remember? It was two. That's right. Two little friends are better than one. Three are better than two. Four are much better still. Just think of what four friends can do. One, two, three three, four, four friends. Are you lucky enough to have friends? Do you make friends? How do you make friends? You're kind, you're generous, and you listen. Those are some of the things you need to do when you want to build a friendship. That's right. I've got a new little rhyme that we do with our um, bedtime shorts. Sorry about that. Let me show you the actions to it as we're learning it still. Our hands go up and then down, and then we're going to turn around, 
And then we're going to sing. And then we're going to clap. And then we're going to wave. Lots of fun we can do with our hands. Hands go up. Hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can sing a song or two. I can clap. So can you. I can wave. I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. I'd like you to stick with me though so that we can watch our story together. The story is called Chicken, Pig and Cow. It's lots of fun. Chicken, pig, and cow lived in a popsicle stick barn that girl made. They loved their barn. It was warm and cozy and smelled just right. The only thing that wasn't exactly perfect lived outside. His name was Dog. Dog was way too big. He was even bigger than cow. And Dog drooled. I thought it didn't rain indoors, said Chicken. Girl had forgotten to leave an opening for the door, but that didn't matter because the outside usually came to them. But one day, Chicken, Pig, and Cow wished to go exploring, and Girl was not around to help. We could wait, said Cow. Oh, we have waited said Pig. We've waited long enough, said Chicken. So Pig climbed on Cow, and Chicken climbed on Pig. Then Chicken jumped over the barn wall. Pig grunted and also jumped, bumping his bottom on the way. Cow was left at the bottom of the barn. She couldn't jump over. The wall was too high. I'll wait here said Cow. We'll give you a full report, said Chicken. The barn was very quiet. This is nice, said Cow. I could take a nap. <sighs> the barn was very empty. This is good, said Cow. I can run and play and not bump into anyone. But Cow didn't feel like running and playing without her friends. <laughs> So Cow waited, and then she heard a sound, a drooly, snorty sort of sound. The barn moved, the floor twitched, and Cow flew. When Cow landed, she was outside, where Dog was, drooly, snorty Dog. Cow froze. Dog walked over to Cow and wagged his tail. Dog sat next to Cow and wagged his tail harder. Then Dog lay down, wrapping himself around Cow. Cow fainted. Pig and Chicken came back. Pig walked over to Dog. Pig stood right in front of Dog's large, drooly mouth. Oink, oink, said Brave Pig. Come and chase me, drooly, snorty dog. Dog opened one <sighs> eye. His tail wagged. But Dog was not interested in chasing Pig. Chicken saw Red Ball. Chicken walked over to Red Ball and gave it a kick. Ouch, said Chicken. Chicken gave Red Ball a push. But Red Ball did not move. Pig came over to help. Pig pushed. Chicken pushed. Pig grunted. Chicken flopped. And finally, Red Ball rolled right past Dog. Fat, said Chicken. Cow woke up. I made a new friend, said Cow. 
And the barn now has a door, thanks to Dog, said Pig. Dog wagged his tail. Chicken, Pig, and Cow lived in a popsicle stick barn with a door that Dog made. They loved their barn. They loved their new friend, Dog. Both were warm and cozy and smelled just right. <laughs>